So in, in some respects, I see research like professional sports because it's a highly competitive environment uh, and you're always striving to be successful and coming up with new ideas and you're only ever as good as your last paper. And that's a, a very challenging thing, but I think an important element of that is that we are funded by the public to do work that the public generally considers to be of high value. And so that's a driving factor in terms of being able to maintain that level of precision and alertness and kind of the integrity and the rigour of the work that we do. The, the real issue is, that, again, back to this rigour and reproducibility, it's being able to get the numbers of samples that are necessary to be able to make a fairly definitive mechanistic statement about something when you can only have two or three patients. Because in a general situation, you may have 100 or 200 samples that will allow you to then come up with a fairly, you know, significant finding. It's much, much more difficult when you have five or six or seven different samples. We are all on a different genetic background, and that has a huge effect on the outcome. That's how disease works, and I think that that's actually a very important and compelling factor that drives me to work in human disease, is that we are not genetically inbred mice. We are all different. And that's one of the issues with rare diseases, this real challenge, is if you can only get, if there's 15, 20,000 samples of of cases in, 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 in this country every year, how are you going to be able to get the numbers in your different region to be able to get something that's statistically significant?